that says the 6204BE got a primary uh, onto the ignition coil on the primary side. I'm checking the secondary with a plant around an extension pickup and an F plant just to show you what it looks like from the hand side. I'm using the 22. It's one attenuator, so I don't fry the scope. And I've got the lead onto the battery negative. And the other lead's going into the, straight into the wire, going into the coil. I didn't know which one it was, so I just tried both, because all the wires are the same color on all the coils. And then the end clamp's on here, right on one of the coils. And I'll show you what the image looks like. So here's the primary. I'll maybe change the time. Maybe two milliseconds. Which is right down there. Just to give you an idea what it looks like, I'll bring it over a bit more. So here we've got the primary. The top one is the secondary. Well, as we're looking at it, the pink one is secondary. The yellow one it's the primary, you can see where they both switch on. There's where it's switched on and it's the dwell period. There's the firing line and the spark line. And then coil oscillation at the end of the coil. You get more detail on this one, on, on the yellow one, on the primary I should say, and on the secondary. And here's the amps where it's switched on and the amps builds up. I don't really see the oscillation at the start of the amps unless I bring that up closer. I'll just change the settings on that. If it was a fuel injector and there wasn't a secondary winding, you wouldn't see these oscillations right there. But because it's ignition, you do see them. Let's see if I can make it. When I zoom in a bit more, you see it a bit better. It's not much. You don't really see much of it. But I'm going to make it smaller so it's out of the way. So that's what it looks like. I'll just quickly change the time so that we see maybe more of them on the screen at once. And that's this hand tag on the ignition. This is going from a two-wire coil to a four-wire ignition coil because this is hard plastic connectors and bolted down. What I'm doing is using an extension so I can put the plug back in, put the coil back in, I mean, and I can check the wires and see what's happening and how to check it on one of these type. So I think it's slightly different. So one set of the wires is the same setup that I've got to make sure I put the right color in the right hole so it would match where it would have been if it was plugged directly into it. And I can just use these as a breakout kit. What I'm going to do when I've set this up is move my lead across each one of these wires. This one does have a 20 to 1 attenuator in case I need it. At uh, the moment I'm on the first lead, which is the yellow one. They're all going to be the yellow trace, and we'll just move it along and see what happens. Mm -hmm. and the next one, so that's battery voltage, looking at that. I'm not sure what I am per division, 20 volts per division. And I'll go to the black one, this I think is a ground. Yeah, it's pulled it down to zero. These little two thick wires on this coil, so we don't have a control like on the two wire coil that we just looked at. They're all, it's got power all the time and ground all the time on the two big wires. So you can't use this to get a primary ignition, you just see little dropouts. But that's just when it's switched on, it's taking a little gulp of the power. It's not a huge voltage drop. I'll go to the last two. So I've got the blue one. 
The blue one is a trigger. I think that's all it's sending. The trigger from the engine computer has been sent to the coil. Okay, so the coil that's sitting here has been sent a little trigger, and that's all it's getting. That's all we have to know that the engine's controlling it. And the last one, the last one is ground again. So I'll leave it on that one because that's the only one that I'm going to see anything. But I can, well, I could take it out of the attenuated out of there and just change it to a straight one. So I'll just do that. Channel one. I'm going to change that to being times one. I'm going to take this out. Just put it in without that. Now we're at as scaling as one bolt per division. Right, so I'm going to bring that down to five volts per division. So we're at actually five volts, that's one division. I don't know if you can see the dots clearly on this, but that's five volts. So each time it's firing that coil, this is switched on by sending a five volt signal to the coil. So now I'm going to use the amp clamp to see what the amps look like. Same as before, I'm just going to zero this, put it onto the 20 amp scale. And we'll go down one of the two wires. And in fact, that's the red one. I'm actually upside down, I'll just turn it in. I'm going to change the scale in on channel 2. So I come in to here, change it to channel 2, and I change the scale. Okay, so we don't want one amp, we're going to bring it down as 5 amps per division. So we can see it's 5, it's starting from here where the, the line is. So if I put that line, well even if I put it onto the crosshairs so you can see it line up, that's 5, 10, 15, so it's about 15 amps per coil, so it's certainly not a problem with the resistance. And you see it's switched on at the same time as the trigger is put on. I'm just going to change this because it's moving about. I'll change the trigger, bring that, drag it down here so it doesn't keep moving about. Now I'm going to change the time so we can see it a bit better. Maybe go to two milliseconds. There. So there's the trigger, five volts on, five volts off, and at the same time we've got our amp. Really with this kind of coil, with more than two wires, we're really looking at needing to check secondary or amps and the trigger. So now I'm going to try... See, I need another wire. Try this one. Again. Show what this one's set up for on channel three. I'll we'll just have a little look. Okay. But on times a thousand. So let's see what that looks like. In the same corner. That's why it pulls it down to ground. I'll maybe change the scaling a bit. See here. Make it. I gone the wrong way. Make go the other way. 400. I'm gonna move the blue one out of the way for now. See there. There's a secondary ignition system there. So if I change that again. 200. I want it to go more to 100 in the wrong way. 100. 50. That's what we get with the secondary. So you could you could use this. I wasn't on it properly. Yeah. I'll change the scaling again. 
Yeah. Fifty. One hundred. Two hundred. Five hundred volts per division. But at least you can see the dwell period of time. It doesn't show you that it's staying on ground the whole time, but the car is running fine, so it must be okay. You don't really see much of the KV line. You just see the firing line and how long it's on for. So with this coil, you don't see a lot with this. I'll just try it with a regular lead. Which one was that on the black one? That was using this Pentec 1. And I'll try it with a regular lead. Moving, I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm just moving this needle. I don't have an attenuator in this. It's just a needle moving around the coil. I think I'm getting a slightly better picture. I'll clean it with that. And this is the hand tech checking ignition, secondary, primary, and on this case it's for car that you can't check the primary on, but this was the point of this video just to show you this hand check being used on different cars. There is something here that I'll show you this book that I got. It's not a hand check book, but it's got a lot of good waveforms in, but it shows you what you need. If you didn't know what tool you'd need, it would tell you if you need the attenuator. It shows you what you need and what you're checking and what the image should look like. Breaks it down to the different parts. So you can see what's actually happening in different parts of whatever it is you're checking. That's the book by Graham Stokes. Definitely worth getting that. This does have a library in it. If I show you click on here. So you go into vehicle at the top. And then you go to test item. And you choose what you want. So if we're doing ignition, double click it. And if you're doing primary voltage, it shows you what it should look like. The scales are a bit off of the time. It presets stuff for you though. 50 kilovolts per division and stuff. Just gives you an idea that what's on here. I'll do another one. Beckle again. Clear the waveform. Okay, test item. Back to the ignition. So we've got primary and secondary. We could do that one. Now we've got them both together, they look very similar. I, it just shows you how you can set it up. But I find the books useful as well. Thanks for watching.